the upcoming Canon EOS R1 Mark II has become the subject of fervent speculation, particularly regarding its rumored adoption of a global shutter sensor, a technology Sony already leverages in its A93. This potential shift could redefine Canon's position in the sports and action photography arena, but it also raises critical questions about trade-offs in image quality, cost, and practicality. To understand the stakes, we must dissect how the R1 Mark II might compare to its predecessor, the Canon EOS R1, and its fiercest rival, the Sony A93. Let's get right into it. Launched in 2024, the Canon EOS R1 represents the pinnacle of Canon's engineering for speed-centric professionals. Built around a 24-megapixel stacked BSI CMOS sensor, it delivers a blistering 40 FPS burst rate in RAW with continuous autofocus and exposure tracking. Its rugged magnesium alloy body, advanced weather sealing, and redesigned full-sized HDMI port caters to demanding environments. However, the R1's Achilles heel is its reliance on a traditional rolling shutter, which pales next to Sony's global shutter breakthrough. Enter the Sony A93, a camera that rewrites the rules with its 24.6 megapixel global shutter sensor. By exposing all pixels simultaneously, the A93 eliminates rolling shutter distortion entirely, a revolutionary advantage for capturing fast-moving subjects like athletes or birds in flight. Its 120 FPS burst speed, while limited to 1.5 second bursts, dwarfs the R1's 40 FPS capability. Sony's autofocus system, already renowned for reliability, gains an edge in precision due to the global shutter's distortion-free readout. However, this innovation comes at a cost. Reduced dynamic range, higher noise in low light, and a native ISO starting at 250. However, its reliance on the slower CFX Press Type A cards limits sustained performance. Now, rumors suggest the Canon EOS R1 Mark II could adopt a global shutter sensor, a move driven by necessity rather than choice. Sony's A93 has set a new benchmark for speed and technical innovation, leaving Canon's current flagship looking conservative by comparison. For Canon, integrating a global shutter isn't just about keeping pace. It's about reclaiming leadership in a market where milliseconds and reliability define success. Canon is no stranger to global shutter technology. In 2016, it released the EOS C700GS, a $40,000 cinema camera with a global shutter, proving its capability to develop the tech. More recently, Canon has patented multiple global shutter designs, including a 2020 patent for a photoelectric conversion device, explicitly mentioning global electronic shutter functionality. Industrial sensors like the LI5030SAI further demonstrate Canon's ability to scale this technology. However, adapting a global shutter for a full-frame mirrorless camera involves significant challenges. The R1 Mark II would need to balance readout speed, resolution, and image quality, areas where Sony's A93 still faces criticism. If the R1 Mark II adopts a global shutter, it would likely retain the core strengths of the current R1 while addressing its limitations. Like, a global shutter could push burst rates beyond 40 FPS, potentially matching or exceeding Sony's 120 FPS, though thermal constraints and buffer depth would need careful engineering. The current R1's 6K 60p RAW video is already superior to the A93's 4K 120p. A global shutter could enhance the R1 Mark II's video performance, eliminating the rolling shutter in fast pans and enabling flawless flash sync in all modes. However, Canon must navigate the global shutter's pitfalls. Sony's A93 shows that even a mature brand struggles to mitigate noise and dynamic range loss. Canon's reputation for clean files and robust color science could suffer if the R1 Mark II inherits these issues. The Sony. A93's 120 FPS burst mode is a technical marvel, but its practicality is limited by the 1.5 second buffer. Sports photographers rarely need such extremes, but the ability to capture fleeting moments, 
a basketball dunk or a falcon's dive, is undeniable. The Canon R1's 40 FPS is no slouch, offering a more sustainable 10-second buffer, but it lacks the A93's distortion-free advantage. If the R1 Mark II achieves even 60 FPS with a global shutter, it could strike a balance between speed and usability, provided its buffer and cooling systems keep pace. The Canon R1's 24-megapixel sensor delivers excellent detail and dynamic range, aided by Canon's signature noise reduction. Sony's A93, while matching the resolution, falters in low light due to its global shutter design. Shadows show more noise and highlights clip sooner, a trade-off action photographers might accept, but one that could deter hybrid shooters. The R1 Mark II's success hinges on whether Canon can refine the global shutter to minimize these drawbacks. Its industrial sensors suggest progress, but full-frame implementation is uncharted territory. Here, the current R1 outshines the A93.6K60. dot at PCRAW light and oversampled 4K60P are superior to Sony's 4K120P and 4K60P. The R1 also supports C-Log2 natively, offering a greater dynamic range for color grading. A global shutter in the R1. Mark II would eliminate rolling shutter in the video, a victory for filmmakers. But Canon must ensure that codecs and heat management don't regress. The Sony A93 is priced at $5,999, undercutting the Canon R1 at $6,499. Both cameras are aimed at high-end professionals. If the Canon R1 Mark II launches with a global shutter, its price could rise to $6,999 to $7,499, reflecting higher R and D costs and its niche appeal. For studios and agencies, this investment might be justified, especially if the R1 Mark II avoids the image quality compromises found in Sony's approach. While Canon and Sony duel, Nikon's recent acquisition of RED, a company with deep ties to global shutter supplier Tower Jazz, positions it as a dark horse. RED's Super 35mm global shutter sensors could inspire a Nikon Z92 with hybrid stills, Josh video prowess. Moreover, Nikon's partnership with Sony's sensor division opens doors to sourcing cutting-edge tech. If Nikon enters the global shutter fray, Canon risks being squeezed from both sides. The Canon EOS R1, Mark II's rumored global shutter, isn't just a spec sheet upgrade. It's a strategic plot to counter Sony's audacious A93 and preempt Nikon's next move. For Canon, the challenge is twofold, advancing sensor technology without alienating loyalists who prize its image quality and ergonomics. The R1. Mark II must deliver distortion-free speed rivaling Sony's while retaining the video excellence and ruggedness that define the R1 lineage. If successful, the R1 Mark II could cement Canon's reputation as a sensor innovator, not just a fast follower. If it stumbles, however, Sony's A93, and whatever Nikon cooks up, might redefine what professionals expect from a flagship camera. In this high-speed, high-stakes battle, the global shutter isn't just a feature, it's the future. Thanks for watching.